Today I am releasing a new preset for DaVinci Resolve and I think lots of you are going to love it. I am very, very excited for this. I took and modified the standard text plus node um, with all the other text controls you like, like shading elements, all the transform options, and I just sort of uh, pasted on the good little bits that make it so efficient and quick whenever you are working with numbers. Whether that's currency, whether it's like scientific specifications or you're doing something uh, like realty videos and you need lots of like square foot and figures and all of that. Um, if you're working with numbers in DaVinci Resolve, I, I, I made this for you. <laughs> if you follow the link in the description, you will get to uh, the store page for the product. And after you download and install the DRFX, then waiting for you in titles, Sterling Supply Company is the new number Number plus. Drag this right on your timeline and you will see, boom, $1, Bob. And as soon as you click it, uh, you are greeted with some familiar controls in the inspector, um, but not all of them, because you can see this is like a text uh, effect, but there is no text field. You can't type in whatever number you want. What good is it? Well, we have a new tab over here called the number tab. And here we see the uh, few but very powerful controls. First, we have this value select. We can start to pull this up. And hey, yeah, the number gets bigger. I've shown that off before too. But hey, as soon as I get to a thousand, oh, it adds in that little comma. And if I were to go up to something like uh, one million, oh, oops, one million. Boom, two commas. So as large a number as you want to make, the uh, commas will slide in there automatically. That's cool. But we also have this decimal slider. Right now, uh, that's at zero. But if I pull this down to another random number, probably a smaller number, something like $12.59, then uh, if you have no decimals, yeah, that just rounds up to $13. If you pull up one, boom, you have one decimal or two, which is you know more common when you're dealing with currency. Um, if you're dealing with something else and you want to go all the way up to three, um, then you're probably not dealing with money at that point. And this is an excellent uh, uh, place to talk about um, this prefix and suffix boxes. Um, by default, you know, it's that $1, but hey, you can get rid of that dollar sign. If you are dealing with some other sort of currency, you can swap that right in. Or if, you know, uh, I don't know, anything else you go want before your number, you can do it. Um, or after your number with a suffix. If I were to make this something like miles, uh, if you want a little space, you just gotta add a space before the word of your suffix, and boom, you have a very price, uh, precise measurement of miles. And this animates correctly very, uh, as well. If I were to start here, set a keyframe, come over here, and you know, really ramp this up to 16,000 miles. You might've noticed as soon as I drag this up to a million, it sort of like set the slider maximum to a million. So now this is crazy sensitive, but we can reset that in a second to take a look at that. But for now, we go from 12.59 to up to 16,000. And it is very fast when you're going that extreme, but you know, all the digits are correctly moving between those keyframes. So even if you do something uh, much simpler, does this do? Okay, that still goes up to a million. Let me drag in a new copy then. Um, if I do something much simpler, say I'm talking about like inflation or something, and I want to talk about, okay, it goes up from $1 to like 425. I set that keyframe, and now we're down here, and it goes up to your digit. And then you can you know, set another set of keyframes. Um, if you want advanced easing, that you will have to hop into the Fusion page for. Um, but other than that, like I said, all your shading elements are there waiting for you. If you want to keep all this dynamic, then as that scales up, you know, those, di those shading elements stick in place real slick. You can do all sorts of stuff and all your normal transform options. You can change the font. Uh, you can change uh, uh, the tracking, <laughs> all sorts of stuff. Tons of power, all the power that you are used to having on the text plus node, you now have here um, specifically when you are dealing with numbers and it just, it just works. It's clean, it's simple, not a lot of flashy stuff, um, but I know for the right people, this is gonna save them a lot of time, and that means um, for a lot of those people, also saving them money. Um, so new paid product out now, uh, click the link to check it out. Um, I've been working on it. It was sort of a burst of inspiration, but I, but I am very happy to be getting be getting it out there. Uh, one thing I'm going to include in the description of this video um, is a few of the resources 
um, that helped me build this um, preset, really specific posts on some forums that figured out um, a lot of like the expressions and in-depth stuff. So I'm gonna put those there for anyone that wants to more see the understanding of how it's done or learn for themselves how to do something, uh, maybe something similar, whether it's a one-off effect or a preset like this. If you wanna make your own, you can do it. Um, but I'm gonna drop those in there because they're great resources. Always talk about how great the forums are. And hey, doesn't hurt nobody. So um, I, put this together for you. I hope you like it. I'm happy to release it. Uh, if you want it, go and get it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.